Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360. I'm Ed Robledo, part of the Fusion 360 family to tell you all about the latest updates. For this version, we have some exciting updates that will certainly optimize your design time. In addition to addressing that ever dreaded black and yellow bar across your screen saying annotation has been severed. I'm sure some of our eager users have run into this. What does it mean? And exactly how do I fix it? Well, first, let me give you some background. Fusion 360 offers real-time synchronization between the electronic schematic and the PCB. Updating parts or connections in the schematic will immediately, in real time, appear on the board. But there are times that this synchronization will break due to someone on the team editing the file or you edited the circuit board with the schematic closed, which actually stops the forward and back annotation synchronization. If this was ever the case, fixing it would not be easy. By running the electrical rule checker, you could see a report of what are the differences. The next step is to manually delete parts or add connections, import netlist, change values or part names, and attempt to make them consistent again. Well, this didn't always work and creating a brand new PCB from a schematic means that you've lost all your valuable layout and routing time. In the validate tab or the ERC report, you will notice how to access the synchronizer. As you can see, it loads the schematic as your source and the board as your target. We have plans on expanding this capability for future updates. Above the toolbox, you're gonna notice a filter field. Now you can find components or connections that exist or don't on the source. On the show and hide section, you can customize what information is being displayed between the source and the target. The different colors in the target pane indicate their status, such as it will be removed, added, or there's no change at all. After running the synchronizer, notice that the missing parts and connections now appear on the board. Your schematic and board have been updated, giving you the confidence to continue working on your design. The new synchronizer doesn't need to be limited to only when losing consistency. If you have an existing schematic that needs to be associated to an existing PCB, no problem. Make sure to set the target correctly and run the synchronizer. It is very common that electronic and mechanical engineers require to be constantly collaborating when working on a common product. Traditionally, both engineers would be exchanging and converting file formats to work with each other's design files. With Fusion 360, you are able to work with the circuit board and the mechanical design in only one platform. As you already know, Fusion 360 circuit board can be inserted into the design workspace. This allows you to verify interferences between the electronic components and the enclosure, or make sure that your connectors are correctly exposed. What happens if the components on the PCB need to be moved? Well, currently we have a workflow that works, but requires several push and pulls via the 3D PCB. What if I told you that we can now make the changes on the PCB in the mechanical design workspace and those changes could go directly to the PCB. <laughs> Better yet, we can have it update the pad placement and routing all at the same time. Yes, the future is here. We have accomplished true unification between the electronic and the mechanical engineer. It's possible you're not going to believe me, but there's more the edit in place I need to tell you about. While having the edit in place active in the mechanical design workspace, the electronic engineer working on the PCB will now have the option to push the changes directly to the PCB that's inserted in the design workspace. That way the mechanical engineer will notice any changes to the PCB in a matter of moments. This will truly optimize your design times since you no longer have to push the updates via the 3D PCB. At any point, you could actually return to the 3D PCB and will notice the update alerts. All the updates made on the PCB and on the design workspace PC are going to be adopted, making sure that 
everyone referencing this design has the latest version. Fusion 360 Library Editor is one of the best ones in the electronic cat industry and it just got better. The package generator builds your footprint and 3D model all in the same step with a host of available templates, including all of the IPC compliant parts. Just transfer the component spec sheet values to the generator and in a matter of moments, your model and your footprint is generated. The available parameter will show up in a dialog box that required you to continuously scroll to make changes. In this update, our developers have categorized the changes and made them available via tabs. Now, you could just simply tab over to your manufacturing tolerances as well as your thermal size details. Fusion 360 provides version and collaboration as part of its platform. This allows engineers to simultaneously access the same design file, but there are times this could cause some conflict. In this release, the developers have implemented an administration system that will reduce conflict by introducing design reservation avatars and reservation badges. I will place a link in the description of this video to the blog detailing this new feature. All this and more with Fusion 360.